Hi everybody and welcome back to a new video on my booktube channel, Books with Leo. I really hope the light will not do anything weird. The sun is shining outside so it might go up and down a bit. I've tried to make my camera settings the best as possible but it's like swinging. So today I have a really 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 fun video for you guys because today I'm going to show you guys some of the most beautiful books that I own. I saw this video on Ashley's channel and I thought it was such a fun idea to show you guys some of my favourite books from my collection and yeah that's exactly what I'm going to do. In Ashley's video most of the books she showed were like so 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 gorgeous and of course some of my books are also really really gorgeous but some of them are just like kind of special in a way and I really like them cover wise or something else but I'll tell you when we get to it um I just really like these videos because you talk about books in a little bit of a different way it's more about the aesthetic and I mean I'd be lying if I if I'd say I'd never ever have bought a book because of the cover because like <laughs> sometimes you just see such a beautiful cover and you want to own it even though you have no idea what the story is about <laughs> or like that's happened to me. I will link Ashley's video down below so definitely check that one out as well because that is where I got the idea and definitely check Ashley out anyway because she's an amazing content creator. Before we go into me showing you guys my beautiful books I want to thank today's sponsor which is Skillshare so thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and sponsoring my content. So Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of people come together to learn new things. There are so 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 many classes on there surrounding video, graphics, illustrating, painting and also writing I discovered recently. So I've been using Skillshare for a bit and I was always using it for painting things when I realised there's also writing classes on there. So if you watch my vlogs you know that I also do creative writing and I'd love to write a book someday in the future. <laughs> I was following a course on creative writing and that has finished now so I was looking actually for new sort of things to prompt me to write and that is when I found this really cool class on Skillshare. So it's a class by Emily Gould and I actually have a few books of her on my TBR as well. <laughs> um, anyway it's called Creative Writing. Using your mistakes to how are your personal essays? That sounds really, really fascinating to me. So that's a class I'm definitely going to be checking out. So if you're interested, please check out the link in my description. The first thousand people to click it will get a free trial of premium membership for Skillshare. And after that, it's only $10 a month, which is still super, super affordable. So thank you for sticking with me through this bit of ads. And now let's go on to the video. And thank you to Skillshare again. <laughs> so the first book that I find super, super pretty is Ninth House by Lee Bodigo. And this is the Dutch edition in particular particular because this edition has the coolest sprayed edges like you can see it's a snake and it just it looks so 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 cool I love these types of books and then on the other side you have this design and this really reminds me of like thrillers like Stephen King books and stuff like that like kind of that vintagey thriller look so I think that is really really cool as well I feel like they were definitely inspired by those type of books when they went in and created this cover it's always interesting to see when they create a new cover for a series because it's a translation so they might go with a very similar cover as the original or they might really really change it up so I was really delighted to see that I loved the Dutch cover as well another thing I think is really really cool about this edition is that it has this beautiful art on the end papers so it's a paperback but it has like this really really cool art inside of it of the main character who's called Alex and I think that just looks beautiful it's also kind of that floppy folding paperback and it's just like really nice and floppy which is my favorite type of book I'm really really a paperback person above hardcover but I know a lot of people feel different about that so this is definitely the first book I wanted to show you guys then the second one is this classic it's the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde I've not read this book but it's just so pretty, like especially this edition. It just looks like a fairy tale book. I love it so much. Also, the back has this quote on it. It's just so pretty. It's like kind of embossed in the cover. Not sure how they did it, but it's really, really beautiful. And then it has this gold on here and it has gold on the front as well. And it's also sort of embossed. And the spine looks really, really fairy tale like. It's so, so, so pretty. It also has really, really pretty sprayed edges. You can see here and here, these green sprayed edges are just gorgeous. And you have not even seen the end papers yet because when you open the book, it has this kind of marble look. I'm not sure how I would describe this, but it's sort of a marble look. And it's really, really, really pretty. And God, I wish all my books had this. 
And when you open it in a hall and you see the whole thing, doesn't this just look like a fairy tale book? Like, God. I've also heard a lot of people say that this is one of their favorite classics and that's really not hard to read. So that's something I'm holding on to because I've not really ever been a big classics reader, so. Another thing I really, really like about this one, this special edition, is that it has a ribbon. Whenever books have a ribbon, I'm really, really happy in general. Like, it's not hard to please me. So, I really like that. The next novel on my list is Star Daughter by Shveta Thakrar. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but I looked it up and I'm really trying my best. <laughs> um, this is a Fairy Loot special edition and it is just so beautiful and shiny and it's all my heart desires and it's got moons and stars and celestial designs, which is my favourite thing. If you take one look at my Etsy shop, you know it's my favourite thing. I'm really predictable. Anyway, it's got this gorgeous digital illustration on the front i really really love it and it's also really shiny and beautiful and then when you open it it is signed by the author which is always really really cool and it's also got this really velvety texture which is just so 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 fun and then on the other side it's also got this beautiful night design and when you open it up it's got this art on the inside of the dust checker as well which is really really cool and the naked spine is super pretty as well. I love the font design. I know this may be a little bit of like a design thing, but I just really love this font. It's so loopy and it feels a little bit 70s. <laughs> I know that's, that's more like supposed to be feeling fantasy-like, but I really enjoy the look of it. So that is really, really cool. I've not read this book either, but I'm really, really hoping it will be a great book because I know it's like got a magical competition of sorts in it, which is something I always enjoy a lot in fantasy fiction. Um, oh, and another thing about this copy is that it has beautiful glitter sprayed edges. So this is definitely one of the most beautiful books in my collection as well. Okay, the next one, maybe you'll think it's a little bit of a plain Jane, but I think it's really, really special and beautiful. And that is this copy of Nocturna by Maya Motania. I've been wanting to read this book for such a long time because I really, really want to read a lot of fantasy again. I've been reading a lot of murder mysteries and thrillers and now I'm kind of in a fantasy mood again. Um, and this copy I love in particular because it's a Dutch hard copy. And a thing that Dutch hardbacks do, which is so much fun, I think personally, is they don't do dust jackets. They just don't. I'm not sure why. I think Dutch people have just always been like, no, we don't care for the dust jacket. We're not doing it. I'm not sure why they don't want to dust check it, but like it's fine with me personally. <laughs> anyway, um, what I really, really like about this copy is that it doesn't have a dust checker and it's just straight printed onto the hardback, which is really, really cool. It has this really nice, playful feel to it because of like the little tiles and the design and I love the warm colours as well. And then on the back, and it also has a map inside. If you put a map in a book, I will like it no matter what. <laughs> so yeah, this is also a book I really, really love within my collection. Next, we have another classic. I just feel like I had to read more classics according to my writing teacher. And so I was like, okay, I will buy classics, but then I will at least buy pretty classics. <laughs> um, so I bought this copy of The Telltale Heart and Other Tales by Edgar Allan Poe. Yes, it is sort of holographic, which is just really, really pretty. And it has this lovely design. And on the back, it's kind of similar. And then what I also really, really like about this copy is that it has illustrations, which is just so, so, so cool and really pretty. And when you open it to the first spread, it also has this little design of a heart, which would make a great tattoo if you ask me. So this is definitely also a copy I really cherished and yeah. Okay, the next copy of a book I want to show you guys is this copy of A Crooked Kingdom by Lee Badugo. I think if you've been around for a bit on this channel, you know I love everything Lee Badugo writes. I just, a lot of the books she's written, I really, really enjoy them. I want to read them over and over and over again. The Six of Crows duology is one of my favourite series by her. I just especially love the like heist criminal themes within fantasy fiction. I just think they're really nice to read about. And this is the second book in the Six of Crows duology. And it's one I really want to reread soon before the Netflix show comes out. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I watched the trailer yesterday and I was like... <gasps> I almost cried and I watched it like a couple of times. I think like 10 times, to be honest. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so this edition is the special edition. I bought it for myself after I got my driver's license uh, as like a gift to me. <laughs> and it's super, super pretty. It's got this gold foil. It's got it on the back as well. And then it has this quote. It says no mourners. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I think that's it says no mourners, no funerals on the copy of the first edition. But on this one, it says when you can't beat the odds, change the game. Ooh. It has black sprayed edges, making it look super, super edgy. 
we like that and then one of my other favorite things is the yellow map that it has i think if you know me you know that yellow is one of my favorite colors yellow and lilac are my favorite colors <laughs> and on the other side it has a map of Rafka and Fjerda and everything. And then it also has some art, some character art. And this is just, oh, it's so gorgeous. Like I've considered ripping these out and framing them on my wall because <laughs> they're so, so, so pretty. Inaj, my favorite. Mm. Yes, this just makes me so, so, so happy. And also Wylan is not in the first season uh, of the Netflix show, so please give us season two well first give us season one obviously <laughs> anyway this is definitely also one of my favorite copies in my collection okay then we get to the last book um when i was filming clips of the books yesterday i forgot this one not sure why because it's one of the biggest books i own <laughs> it's like so 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 big just look at this compared to this <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, so it's really heavy as well. I'm not sure how long I'll be able to keep this up. This is like the Book Olympics. <laughs> this copy of Alice in Wonderland is... Oh no, it's the complete Alice, actually. It's got all the Alice in Wonderland novels. Um, it was gifted to me by my mother. Oh, that was so formal all of a sudden. By my mum, <laughs> who's one of my favourite people in the entire world. She gave this to me, I think, for Christmas one year. Not sure. Whenever my family gives me books, it's my favourite thing. If anybody ever wants to give me anything, let it be a book, please. <laughs> it's this really, really beautiful, shiny copy of Alice, and it's also got these sort of reddish sprayed edges, and it's really, really pretty. I just, I got it so pretty. And also, a really cool thing is it's got this loop in here. Loop? No, a hole. It's got a hole in the front cover. Hi. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> No, anyway, it's really, really cool because then you see through and then it does it on the first page as well. Really, really cool. And it's also filled with illustrations. I think it's a perfect book to read to children, for example. It's just, it's so cool. Um, I've not read in this copy a lot, like a couple of times before going to bed, but it's not very, like, handy because <laughs> it's so big. Um, it's also got some foils and illustrations in there which is just really, really cool. I've never seen that before in a book, foiled illustrations. Definitely one of my favorite books in my collection. Actually, I forgot a book that I also wanted to show. So let me just go grab it. <laughs> this is actually the last book, trust me on this one. This is a copy of Little Women and Other Novels by Louisa May Alcott, also a classic. I don't think I'll ever read. I tried to read this. I was actually pretty foreign, but then I just gave up. I know a lot of people love this, but it was just not for me. Maybe my attention span is too small. I just, I can't, I couldn't do it. It was a bit boring to me. I loved the film with Saoirse Ronan though. I have the biggest thing for Saoirse Ronan. Little Women, this copy is just so, so, so pretty. It's a leather bound edition. It's, oh, it's just so beautiful all around. And then it's got these gold foiled sprayed edges. They just look like art, to be honest. It's like one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. The patterns on the inside are also just so gorgeous. Honestly, there's not anything about this copy that is not super, super pretty. Like, look at that. And it's also got a really nice ribbon. Oh, it's so pretty. And just looking at it makes me so happy. And it also has some gold foiling, if you hadn't seen, on the cover too. And it just feels luxurious and beautiful. And I'll cherish it, even though I won't ever read it. But it's so pretty, so I don't feel bad about buying it. <laughs> God, this video is really exposing me as a book collector. <laughs> anyway, those were some of the most beautiful books in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me show these books to you and enjoyed this video. Put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.